to your Facebook friends right here. I am so very, very, very excited today because we're going to be reading another one from our spot books. So you know how yesterday we read the anger spot, but today we're going to be reading peaceful spot. So you have to show our Facebook friends and see, that's what we're going to be talking about today, peacefulness. You guys, I don't know what that is. I can't remember. Maybe in this book, tell us. Let's see. Lad, you want to say hi to everyone? We got Lad here. Lad's very, very excited. And you're excited for the book? Yeah, I am excited too. Ready? Let's see. What should this possibly be about? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to get him all set up. It says, it says, hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your peaceful spot. Today he's gonna show us how to get our peaceful spot. Let's see. See that's peaceful spot. Look, it's all nice. Let's see if you can see. See that? See it's green. It's green with sparkles around it. See? That's really cool. And it says, Oh wow, I'm excited. I'm very excited too. See? Our friends here, they're very, very excited for today. Let's see. It says, ta-da! Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because you are calm and relaxed right now, it's easy to spot. See, see how calm and relaxed? You get all this green sparkles, green and yellow sparkles. See, all our green and yellow sparkles. It says, he says, but when a, a big spot of emotion shows up, it can become very overwhelming. And then it could be hard to seem to, it will be hard to be peaceful and calm. Let's see, that's why it's important to look for your peaceful spot. It says, as soon as one of these big spots of, of emotion shows up, it starts to get really, really big. I see our new friend, I see Savannah's here with us. See, right, but first you need to identify what, emo what spot of emotion showed up. You see, when they get, when they go from super duper small, like this, and they went to the Olive Garden. Oh. Wait, what? Mute them. Yeah. When, when we go from a very, very small spot like this to a very big spot like this, we have to identify, wait, what kind of spots are those? Are those happiness? Let's see. We're going to see what kind of spots those are. It says, is it your angry spot? And maybe if you see if you see one of your spots getting really big, you can maybe think, is it my anger spot? Or are you feeling frustrated because you can't find something or you're very annoyed because you tried to do something and it didn't turn out like you wanted it to be? Do you see? Look, they are looking for their toys. Let's show our Facebook friends. They're looking for their toys and they can't find it and also her her painting got all messed up. See, so she might be annoyed because it's in her anger spot is getting from very small to super big. See, her anger spot's getting very, very big. She's very frustrated and annoyed. Let's see. And it says, or your anxiety spot. It says, or if you're feeling worried about something or scared that you won't pass your test. See, they're worried and scared that they might not pass their test. That's our, that's when our anxiety spot gets super duper big. You guys see? See, well, that's when our anxiety spot gets so big. It says, or is it your sadness spot? It says, are you feeling lonely because no one would play with you? Or disappointed because you dropped your delicious popsicle? You guys see? She's very sad. He feels very sad because he drew, he has no one to play with him or because of her delicious popsicle falls. I know I get really sad if I have a really good popsicle and it falls on the floor. Yeah, that would, I would, that would make me very sad. And it says, each emotion can be managed in different ways. It says, that's why it's important to identify which one you're feeling. See, so they have all the emotions. They have all of the different emotions from anger and sadness and the anxiety spot. It says you, for anxiety, you can be 
nervous, worried, or maybe scared, hi, when you see Thomas is joining in, and it says, or you can maybe be upset, you could be disappointed, lonely, or lost, or maybe when you're mad, when you have your angry one, you are either annoyed or maybe hurt, or maybe you're just frustrated, right? You see, that's all of our emotions. See? And it says, once you have identified the spot of emotion, it makes it easier to guide your peaceful spot. If you're having a hard time figuring out which spot of emotion can, what it is, it can help you write or draw your feelings. See? See how Peaceful Spot drew this beautiful picture? And he drew it, and since it's green, that means he's feeling peaceful, right? So you get to, you could draw a picture. Maybe if you don't know what you're feeling like, maybe you're very sad or angry, but you can't identify it. Maybe you can try drawing it and seeing what emotion comes. And it says, now it's time to turn that spot of emotion to a peaceful spot. Sometimes it, sometimes it helps you fill up your peaceful, your peaceful spot with a lot of amazing peaceful things. See, you see how it's all happy and it's like rainbows and shiny and green and sparkles. See, because that's when you're feeling happy or maybe peaceful and and very very good and it says let's look at some times when you're peaceful let's add those things to your peaceful spot get some crayons and paper for some peaceful coloring it says or find some peaceful music how about some books for for peaceful reading and writing or some peaceful pictures for meditation see Meditation is when you're just relaxing, maybe you're reading a book, or you're listening to music. You see, those are all ways of your peaceful spot. You know you like that? Yes, look at our peaceful spot. Isn't that really cool? Yeah, and that's all the ways that maybe you could think, oh, that was that, and that was when I was showing peacefulness. And it says, Let, let's add a chart of calm breathing too. Spot the pattern. You're looking at the book? That's a very interesting book. The lad is very interested. And it says, it says, let's add a chart for calm breathing too. Spot a pattern in breathing. It says, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good boy. I'm going to give the lad a kibble because he's doing a very, very good job, right? He's doing a very good job sitting and listening to our book. And it says, that's our pattern of breathing. Do you do you guys breathe like <gasps> right? If that's your pattern of breathing, that you could breathe like this, like that. But peaceful spot, that's how he breathes. He goes in and out, and in and out. Right? So peaceful spot, that's how he breathes. He breathes. And I know Lad loves. He goes. When he gets really, really excited from playing outside. See, and that's when he feels peaceful. And says, here are some other breathing tricks too. You could do too. Each saying a different emotion. So when you're, you see, he's showing, a peaceful spot is showing the kids what it is. And it, show, it says, when you're angry, we, I think we learned about this yesterday. When we're angry, you get to count the spots from one to four. Tap, tap, tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and coat your spots with love and care. You guys remember when we talked about that yesterday? And we went tap, 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 tap while breathing. Oh. And we breathe out our fingers going tap, tap, tap. Right? I remember that. That was a lot of fun. And that's how it teaches us when we're very, very angry. That's what we do. And we breathe and we Tap, 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 right? Next one is for our, our, for our anxiety spot. It says, from the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew way too big and could not stay, and, and it could not 
now stay small enough to blow it away. Because you know how our anger is thought we blow it away? This one, it's way, it got too, too big that we can't blow it away. So here, what it says is from the tip of my finger, you grab your finger and you make them touch your center of your palm, right? And it says from the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. So you can go tap, 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 tap. And instead of just blowing on your fingers, you tap the middle of your palm, right? You tap the middle of your palm to get very happy or calm when you're very, very anxious. You can go tap, 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 tap with all five of our fingers, right? And it says, now for sadness. Sadness, it says, circle the spots in the middle of your palm, count the swirls to calm, count the swirls down to calm. Around, 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 twice more, one, two, three, and then four. Each time that you trace around the spot, you can take a deep breath to calm down your thoughts. See, we can go, and we go one, two, three, you breathe out and then breathe in when you circle, right? One, two, three, right? That's how we get, when we're very, very sad, we can go, we're going to get very, very happy. We go, one, two, three. And you say, I'm all right. And you fill your mind, you fill your mind with a bunch of peaceful thoughts, right? Because if you fill your mind with a bunch of negative thoughts or maybe sad thoughts and you go, I dropped my popsicle and nothing else is going to happen. I'm so sad. And if you think, I, even though I dropped my popsicle, maybe I can get a popsicle another time. You can go tap, tap, tap. And it says, here, it says, oh, now it's working already. Look how calm he looks. And I love the big cozy chair, too. You see, he's already so calm. Our friend, remember, he was very, very sad and anxious. But look, he's listening to music. He's, lo he's looking at all his emotions. And he's relaxing on his big chair. I know I love beanbags, and Lab loves beanbags too, and he gets to relax on his big, big chair. That's a lot of fun. And it says, okay, I think I give you, I give you enough to, tools to help you find your peaceful spot. I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. See, that's what peaceful spot says. And now you know how to stay super peaceful. Let's show our peaceful friend as well. That's how you know how to be peaceful. That was a very, thank you, Peaceful Spot, for showing us today. And it says, you can make photocopies of these signs to help you decorate your Peaceful Spot. You can also download, download them from our website. It says, imagine a pattern of several green spots. Breathe in, breathe out. My emotions are in this peaceful, in this peaceful space. I will be calm when I leave this place. See, you can maybe, maybe you can, you can either take a piece of paper and maybe you can cut it and color it green so you can show it when you breathe in and out just like that. And that's what, that's what, it, what peaceful spot shows us, right? When you breathe in and out. And it says, remember to spot your feelings and you have to remember maybe I'm sad or maybe I'm happy or maybe maybe we're both maybe we can be sad and happy it says peaceful spot that's peaceful spot he's all happy and peaceful see what's in that and it says our breathing tricks and it shows us our breathing tricks again that we went over today wasn't that a lot of fun that was lad you enjoyed that that was a lot of fun right lad right that was a lot of fun we're gonna give lad a kibble because he did such a good job. I love learning about how to be peaceful now, right? So does anyone have any questions about our peaceful spot today? Let's see, does anyone have any questions? Let's see, maybe, let, let's see, let's see. I think we're good. I think, I don't think anyone has questions today, but I'm very, very glad you guys came to see us today. Let me see, Lad, sit, sit. Good boy, stay. So, Lad, was, did you have a, lot, a, a really fun time with them today? I 
loved reading our book. That was a lot, a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see you guys maybe ne next week. And I hope you guys have a really, really good weekend. Right? We're going to have a lot of fun this weekend. So I hope you guys do too. All right, I'm so happy you guys came to join me today. And I hope to see you guys another time. Bye. Bye, guys.